Hello, welcome to the Three of the Tea YouTube channel. My name is Martin and I'm here on the putting green at Royal Ascot Golf Club and I'm going to talk about Aimpoint Express which for those of you that don't know is a green reading system. Now first things first, I'm not a qualified Aimpoint instructor so this isn't going to be a tuition video, this is just going to be my interpretation from what I've learned doing the course and how it works on the, on the greens itself. Now, Aimpoint originally started in the US and was an Emmy Award winning graphical design by a guy called Mark Sweeney for the Golf Channel. He then took that technology on and developed it into an actual green region system. And in the old days, it was all chart based. So a player would have a green chart, something like this, depending on the stimp of the green, and would have to work out the slope for each part and then calculate the, the read from there. Now these numbers are actually in inches so for example this would be a six inch break. Now that proved to be a little time consuming on greens and Aimpoint Express is now a green reading system which is far far quicker as the Express would, would indicate and is a method based through reading the greens through the feet. As I say, I'm not an uh, Aimpoint instructor and if you're interested in following up on this video I'll put some details of a guy called Jamie Donaldson who's the Aimpoint Senior European Instructor and the details go into the description box under the video and you can contact him for details of where and when he's doing some Aimpoint Express courses. Now, as I say, it's a method of reading the green through the feet and I'm going to hit a putt on, on the screen now um, and show you basically how it works. It's one of these things that seems to divide opinion quite, quite uh, straight down the middle. There's those that think it's a load of rubbish and those like myself that actually think it works really well. It is a proven science and there's a number of people on the tour that are doing it. If you remember the Masters last month, you'd have seen Justin Rose walking around, sticking fingers in the air. Now, he wasn't ordering beers, and he wasn't trying to put the hoodoo on Garcia. He was actually using the Aimpoint Express method. So, I'm going to go and set up a putt now, and I'll talk you through how it works. And then I'll hit the putt, and hopefully it'll show you the break. Hopefully the ball will go in the hole. And what I plan to do after that is then take it onto the course and show you just how quickly you can do a read on an actual putt on an actual hole. So we'll go to the putting green, set the putt up and go from there. Right, so I'm here on the putting green at Royal Ascot Golf Club. I've set a putt of about 20 foot or so and I'm going to walk you through how to do an 8 point read. Each putt is normally got a, some degree of break in it and when you go onto the aim point uh, course what you will do is you will learn how to feel the break through your feet and then assign a value to, to that degree of slope. A slight break will only be one finger but if you want say a severe slope like that or like that you may allocate three or four fingers or three or four percent of slope on it. So I'm going to go and do an aim point read I'm going to work out how big the break is and I'm going to put a couple of tees in the ground where I think the, the breaking point would be and then I'm going to make the putt and see if I can get it in the hole. So I'll walk you through the process. What we do is we always read the putt from the low side of the hole. So on a 20 foot putt we would normally do it from the midpoint of the putt and it's outside the line of you're not allowed to stand on the line of your putt or it's a penalty. So just to the side and I can feel that through my feet and I think that's something like 2 degrees of slope. So I'm going to give that a value of 2. I'm going to go behind the ball, I'm going to make my read and then I'm going to come back and put a couple of tees in the ground just to show you where I think the break is going to be and then I'm going to see if I can make the putt.
obviously different greens have different speeds. So the greens that we're all get at the moment are running at about nine. So the slower the green, the further out you would extend your arm. So I didn't quite fully extend my arm on that one. But if you were playing somewhere much quicker, then obviously you would have it closer to your body. So it's about a nine. I've put the tees where I think the two degrees of break are going to be. Let's see if I can make the putt. Not quite, but as you can see, from, from 20 foot, I got it pretty close and it's just a tap in. So that in essence is how aim point works, but one of the arguments that I see a lot on social media is that it slows the game down and it's no quicker than anybody doing a normal read. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wander out to one of the holes on the golf course I'm going to chuck a couple of balls down on the green from say 20 yards so they can go past the hole and they can go anywhere on the green and then I'll do some reads and show you just how quickly it works on an actual hole. Right, I'm by the first green at Royal Alaska Golf Club. Apologies if there's any interference on the sound but it's actually quite breezy out here tonight. Um, hopefully you can hear me loud and clear as I go through how aim point works on an actual hole. All I've got is I've got a couple of balls in my hand and I'm just going to randomly chuck them on the green. One of the things that it's ideal to do as you're walking up to any of these holes is to actually look at the slope as you're going to put your bag down on the entry point towards the next tee and get an idea of the slope of the green and which way it goes. Now I know the first green at Royal Ascot goes from left to right as, as, as the camera's looking at it and a little bit from front to back. So I'm now going to go do an aim point read on these two parts and these shouldn't take more than about 15 or 20 seconds. What I'll do is I will spend a little bit more time and I will actually put a tee down where I think the break point will be just so I can indicate it on camera and you can see how the putt goes. So let's go and read these parts and hopefully I can make one. Right, so here we are on the green, I've got two balls and I'm going to just go straight through the green, put the tees down to make the putt. Again, we go on the low side of the hole every time, making sure we're not on the line. Now, I don't think there's a great deal in this one, so I'm going to allocate it a 1% value or one finger. So I'm going to make the read.
didn't actually start that putt directly on the tee. I, I pulled that slightly off the club face. But again, as you can see, from 20 foot, it's, it's less than a foot away, and a tapping, a tapping two putt. So, in essence, that's Aim Point Express. As I said at the very beginning, I'm not an Aim Point instructor, so this isn't a tuitional video. If you're interested in looking at Aim Point in more detail, I will give a link in the description box under the video to a guy called Jamie Donaldson, who's the Aim Point Senior European Instructor, and you can contact him on his social media or through his website and see where and when he's holding courses in the UK. And if you're in the US, then have a look on the, the Aimpoint Express website or contact a guy called Mark Sweeney, who's the founder of Aimpoint, and there will be regional instructors all over the country. What I'll also do is I will put a link to the Aimpoint YouTube channel, which contains a number of different videos, so you can get, actually go and see it in more detail uh, with more professional footage and more in-depth analysis on how it works but as I say I hope this has given you a little introduction um, certainly for the members of Royal Ascot Golf Club who look at me every weekend walking around the green sticking my fingers in the air I hope that gives you a little bit more idea on how it works and the fact that I've not actually lost my marbles and for those that think it actually slows the process down I hope that this quick read on the green shows that it really is a very quick system and a very accurate system for getting a read. As I say, you can take it anywhere and you can vary it depending on how quick the green is by the length of the, the arm extension. So, if you liked what you've seen, then don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And more importantly, if you've got any comments about Aimpoint Express and what I've spoken about today, then put them in the comments box below and I'll be happy to look at them and respond to anything that you've got to say. So, Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you for another video soon.